Cow calf producers, of course, will always save back a few replacement heifers to go into the herd. And whether they're the fall calvers, where those replacement heifers are going to be bred here in a month or so, or the heifers that are being weaned at this time of the year and will be grown out through the course of the winter and to go into that breeding season next spring. One of the questions that always seems to arise is how fast should those heifers be asked to grow between the time of weaning and going into that first breeding season? And that's a question that's being debated all over the beef industry. There's been some research done here at OSU back about 12 years ago that looked at the percentage of the mature body weight that heifers would be when they first started to cycle, would be first ready to go into a breeding season. The heifers eventually grew out to be cows that weighed about 1,260 pounds, and that's when they were five to seven years of age in a body condition score of a five and in mid gestation. So you have some idea of how big those particular cows would turn out to be. Now, if you look at this bar chart, this shows the percentage of the heifers that began to cycle depending upon what percent of that mature body weight they were as they, they were reaching puberty. And you can see that uh, if they're weighing uh, less than 55% of their mature weight, there's a small percentage of those heifers that are going to be cycling and it'll be somewhere around half or, or a little bit less. If we want a high percentage of the heifer cycling at the start of the breeding season, we have to look to that bar where at, they're at least 60% of their mature weight by the time the breeding season begins. And I think that's a critical number to remember because if you're one that's going to put these heifers through estrus synchronization and an artificial insemination program, you want a high percentage of those heifers cycling to where they'll respond to the estrus synchronization and have a high chance of getting bred to AI. Certainly if we want to try to push the envelope a little bit further and try to get just the highest percentage possible, then we have to have heifers weigh 65% of their mature weight or even more. And in some cases that may not be practical because of the cost of the feed. I think the answer to this question is going to be very, very uh, individual dependent. If you're interested in getting a high percentage of those heifers cycling at the start of the breeding season, we have to be at 60% of their mature weight or a little bit above it. And that means all the heifers must reach that point. If we're on the other side of the scale, we'd like to grow them more slowly and have uh, only about half of the heifers cycling at the start of the breeding season and let Mother Nature choose which ones of the heifers actually get bred early in the breeding season. First of all, we're going to have to save back more heifers because we'll have less of them that actually get bred, but our, our feed costs should be a little bit lower. So there will be some give and take as to which ones of uh, these percentages of the mature weight that we choose to use as a target weight. And let's kind of round this out to give you some pounds to keep in mind. If the mature size of the cows in your herd are around 1,250 pounds, in order to be at 60% of their mature weight, then we've got to have these heifers weigh 750 pounds at the start of the, their breeding season. If those heifers are weaned about 150 days prior to the start of the breeding season, that means they must be gaining at one and a third pounds per head per day from weaning into the start of the breeding season. So that helps you then design what kind of growing program you would need for your replacement heifers. We thought this discussion would help you in terms of deciding how you're going to go about feeding those replacement heifers this winter so that they're at whatever target weight you choose for them to be at the breeding season next spring. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow Calf Corner.